Hi, and welcome to Library 2035, Imagining the Next Generation of Libraries webcast series. My name is Sandy Hirsch, and I'm the editor of this book. I'm pleased to host this webcast series fe featuring several of the book's contributing authors who will share their vision for libraries over the next decade. Today, I welcome Lynn Salapini Conaway, author of Chapter 9, We Are Not Alone, Libraries Making a Stronger Impact in a Global Community. Lynn is Executive Director of Research at OCLC. She has numerous journal publications, is an international speaker, and is co-author of the fourth and fifth editions of Basic Research Methods for Librarians and the sixth and seventh editions of Research Methods in Library and Information Science. Throughout chapter nine, Conaway asserts that we need to recognize that we are now living in and serving a global community I and mean, global society. The success of the library of 2035 will be dependent upon addressing the digital divide, focusing on participatory learning and placing a high priority on building strong relationships, collaborations and partnerships. So it's my pleasure to welcome Lynn Salapini Conaway. Hi. Hello, Sandy, and um, thank you for inviting me to speak to you about the chapter and for writing the chapter. Yes, I'm so happy that you agreed to contribute, and I'm so excited to talk to you about your um, vision. So let's get started. Love for you to start by briefly describing what your vision is for the future of libraries in 2035. So it, it's a library that's integrated into multiple communities. And by that, I mean local, regional, national, and international. And it's a library that offers space, both physical and virtual, that's welcoming to diverse communities and individuals. And no library can accomplish this alone. Uh, so we'll need to partner, again, both locally, regionally, nationally, and internationally. So basically a library that is in the life of the community in the broadest sense. As you're looking ahead at that future for libraries, what about that future concerns you the most? Right now in, in today's current environment, uh, I'm concerned because library leaders and staff um, may be getting discouraged about current challenges. And these include book and meeting room challenges, also the challenges with staff inequities and addressing staff well-being. And also I get concerned that um, library leaders and staff may not be embracing new technological advances. Um, and AI is one of the ones that comes to mind immediately. And the challenges um, also of providing broadband to all as a public good because the digital, wiver, the digital divide still is alive in our global community. And so we need to continue to represent the underserved in, in our communities. And I don't want our library leaders and staff to lose that momentum and energy that it's going to take to address these challenges. Yeah, I think that those are really important points. There are, there are a lot of challenges that are going on and uh, trying to navigate all of that can be very challenging. And so I think that you raise important points there. Um, and what about the future are you most excited about? Well, I really believe that um, library leader and staff involvement and partnership with community members and agencies um, and in broadening the library space to community spaces is really exciting. Um, it's, it's really good to see this and these collaborations, these partnerships. I'm also really excited about the different ways that I've heard some library leaders and staff are thinking of embracing and integrating AI into library processes, and also thinking about how AI will affect its the library's users and prospective users. So how, how will AI affect scholars, researchers, and how will it affect the way people live their everyday lives? And I, I've been hearing uh, 
a lot of library leaders and staff talking about this lately. And so that excites me, that embracing of uh, new technologies, of thinking differently. Great. And what do you think has had the biggest impact on libraries over the last decade? Well, I I think um, the global economy and uh, technological advances provide um, opportunities to disseminate information immediately and in multiple ways. And so anyone can disseminate information. And these have impacted the continued need for information and digital literacies or meta literacies, as they've been called. So this need, again, for collaboration, partnerships, and community relationship building is really important um, in order to focus on integrating the library into the work and everyday lives of the community and helping them be able to discern and evaluate the credibility of the information that is being produced so quickly and widely and broadly. And what do you think is going to have the biggest impact on libraries in the next decade? You know, I think it's going to be the continued uh, technological advances. Um, And with those technological advances come these ever-changing expectations and needs of the library's communities. And so I think that's going to have the biggest impact. And these these new technologies are now impacting and will continue to impact um, issues of privacy and also impact the library profession's ethical commitments and responsibilities. And again, there's going to be this need for the meta meta literacies. It's it's only going to increase and unfortunately, I think, become more complicated with the different things occurring and the advances in technology. Yeah, there's a lot of change in the technological arena and we can only expect it to get more complicated and people need so many different skills to be able to navigate that. Has your, uh, you know, it's been a few months since you submitted your chapter to for the book. And I was just wondering if there's anything that you, you feel has changed in your thinking since you've um, written the chapter initially. Well, I saw that question. And, and the first thing I thought of was, oh, I'm sure things have changed. But I went back and read the chapter and And no, I don't think so. But if anything, I see that some of what I wrote about in the chapter is moving forward more quickly than I anticipated. So um, some of it is happening now. However, that human connection, that relationship building between individuals and groups, I believe will continue to be critical. I'm just curious, what are some of the things that are moving a little bit faster than you thought? Well, I um, I mentioned some things about um, AI, and I've all, I also mentioned things about the digital literacies. And um, I've been involved in some discussions with library leaders and listening to what they're doing with AI or, or, or hearing how some libraries are partnering um, with open AI and different groups. That really hit me and I was like, wow, we're moving very quickly, which is good in many ways, we need to. Um, And then what's happening now, well, especially in the US, um, but it's also happening globally um, with the uh, political situation and the information that's coming out And, uh, you know, just individuals being able to determine, you know, what's credible and and who are these sources and where is this coming from? And, you know, we've heard some things right now um, with um, some of our primary uh, elections where 
they're they're using um, images of some of the political candidates and having them say things that they've never said. And so these again, this is just telling me that it's moving quickly and we really need to be out there within our communities to help people understand that that everything you see is is not real or true. Yeah, that's so important. And uh, just how we figure out how to manage those uh, in determining what's real, what's not real is just getting more and more challenging for sure. Which leads me to a, a good question, and which is next, which is, do you have any advice for information professionals as they look toward the future, the next 10 years? Well, you know, I love to give advice. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I would just say, continue to learn about your communities, the spaces they they live in. And I, by spaces, I mean both the, the physical and virtual spaces. And I think above anything is observe and listen. Uh, we we continually should be asking questions and learning new skills um, to keep up with technological advances and societal changes and expectations. And so I say, listen, learn, keep asking questions. Excellent. And is there anything that uh, information professionals can do to better prepare for their desired future? Well, I think I would be re remiss if I did not say this. I think we really need to learn how to collect data, learn how to use the data we collect, uh, how to analyze and interpret these data, and be able to tell a story about these data to get results, to make that impact. And you know, so often we love to show numbers and charts and graphs, but you need to connect these statistics, these data to what's important to your community. And so I've just been thinking a lot about, it's, it's storytelling, it's finding out, it's that relationship building, finding out what your community needs, wants, and then telling that story to the funders uh, the administrators to get what you need. And so we really need to learn how to make those connections to make these stories very human uh, and to put a, like a face on them. So I think that's really important. Yeah, I, I think that is really important. I agree. And then what what key competencies do you think, maybe in addition to storytelling, do you think that librarians might need to thrive in 2035? Well, adaptability, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's important. Again, that constant desire to learn and the evaluation of library offerings using data that we've collected from systems, from people, from, from the communities, and the users and prospective users of the community. So don't just think about those individuals who are using your library now, but think of those you're not reaching who you could. Excellent. I have one last question for you, and that is, if, I'd love for you to define your view of the future of libraries in six words or less. Yeah, that, that was hard. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'd say relationship building, collaboration, community focused, and that's very broadly, uh, and adaptability. Excellent. That's great. Um, I think that's a great summary of distills a lot of your vision for the library. And I think it's good, good uh, way for us to be thinking about the future. So I just want to thank you, Lynn uh, Salopini-Conaway, for joining me today. And I 
really want to thank you again for your contribution to Library 2035, Imagining the Next Generation of Libraries. It's been a real pleasure to speak with you today and hear more about your vision for the future of libraries. So thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Sandy, for, for this opportunity um, to, to reflect on the past, the present, and the future of libraries. Um, I, I found it very stimulating and interesting. So thanks again. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you for attending this webcast with Lynn Salpini Conaway, author of Chapter 9, We Are Not Alone, Libraries Making a Stronger Impact in a Global Community. To view additional author webcasts from this Library 2035 webcast series, please visit the link or use the QR code on your screen. And thank you again for attending.